is asking, can we give sadaqa to prevent calamities or bad dreams? In fact, that is highly recommended. And in the hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, إِنَّ الصَّدَقَةَ تُطْفِئُ غَضَبَ الرَّبِّ وَتَدْفَعُ مِيتَ تَسُوءُ We have uh, a list of ahadith in this respect, but this hadith I love uh, a lot. Indeed, given in a charity, assisting people financially who are in need for financial assistance, تُطْفِئُ غَضَبَ الرَّبِّ It protects against the anger of the Almighty. We do a lot of things which may make the Almighty Allah angry with us. But when we're given a charity, it puts out the anger. It protects us against being punished by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And among that calamities, including meat at a soup, which is when a person dies in, in a car collision, in an explosion, in a terrible death, or dies while he or she uh, being indulged into a sin. So giving in charity protects the person against all of that. Also the Prophet sallallahu alayhi said in another beautiful hadith, Sana'i'un ma'roof taqi masari'a su' as sanai'a plural of sani'a, which is when you do good, whether uh, to, you, to others or in an act of worship. And uh, basically the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said in the hadith, Ahabbu al-a'mali ila Allah qada'u hawa'ij al-nas. Uh, the dearest deed to the Almighty Allah is helping people to fulfill their needs. So that's an act of charity. A sadaqa doesn't necessarily have to be in cash or financial. It could be by giving a hand to somebody, assisting them, or simply interceding for them. I don't have, but I know somebody who can give. So I make a recommendation. That's called shafa'a. Man yashfa'a shafa'atan hasanatan yakul lahu naseebun minha. Whoever intercedes in a good intercision, for something good to take place, he will have a share of the reward. Because of him, this person has helped the poor or the needy. So that's an act of charity as well. When you do so, صنائع المعروف تقي مصارع السوء It protects against calamities. It protects against afflictions and so on.